Hey everyone, this is Ben. Today let's create a simple location and map app using Vue.js. Let's get started. First, create a new view app using Vit. All right. Open it in VS Code. All right. Go to the source folder and app.view. Let me remove the default codes. And styles. Here in the script tag, I create a function get location. To get the location in JavaScript, we need to use navigator.geolocation and wrap it inside an F and done. Now here use navigator.geolocation.getCurrentPosition. This function allows us to get the current location and we need to pass a callback function to it to retrieve the position. Now we can access the position using this. Position dot chords and here we have the latitude and longitude if you're not familiar with latitude and longitude you can watch the seven minute video on this channel let's define a variable for it First, import ref from view. And const lat ref and zero. Do the same for longitude. Okay. Lat dot value and longitude all right let's create a button to execute this function And here, display the results. Save it. And let's run it. npm run dev. All right. If I click on this, you see that it asks permission to access the location. And if I allow it, the values are still zero. That's because this computer doesn't have GPS hardware. However, in Chrome, we can use DevTools to override a fake location for testing purposes. Click on the three dot menu icon in the top right corner and select more tools and sensors. Okay, here, we can override locations. Berlin. Here is the latitude and the longitude. Now if I click on it again, you see that? And I can change it. All right. 
You can use this tool to test your app. And if I copy this, and go to google.com slash maps, and paste it here, it's for Tokyo. Okay, now let's see how to add a map to our view app. It's very simple. Just look for Leaflet. Leaflet is an open source JavaScript library for maps that works well on both mobile and desktop. It uses OpenStreetMap and providing detailed maps for the entire Earth. It is very simple. Let's start with a quick start. First, we need to add the CSS. Copy it. And go to index.html and paste it inside the head tag. Next, we need to add the library, but for a view app, including the library in this way is not recommended. So go to download, and here it is. We need to install it using npm, copy this, and All right. Next, we need to create a container for our map. Go to app.view. And inside template, And we need to use ref instead of id since we are developing a view app. And let me change this to map container. And set its width. And height. Next is the style that we've already defined. Next, we need this to create a map object. Copy it. And here we need to put it inside unmounted. and convert this to a ref. All right. Okay. Now we need to import this L from leaflet. And this is for the container. And our container is this. Create a rep for it so that we can use it. All right. Now use it here. All right. 
Next, we need to add tile layer to our map. Copy this. And, all right. And here, map.value. Save it. And done. Here is our map. Now we have a map of entire Earth. Now let's use this location for our map. Let's check the documentation. Everything you need to working with maps is here. Now we need the map methods. Modifying map state. I use this. Set view. We need latitude and longitude. And the number for zoom. I put it here in this function. After getting the position, map.value, set view, latitude, and longitude. And zoom. The maximum is 18 and the minimum is 0. Okay. Save it. Now after receiving the position, the map will be set at that position. And it can also automatically move after the location changes. Just change this to watch position. You see that? It moves. Let's add a pen or marker to our map. We need this UI layers marker. Here is the example L dot marker and position and add map and options we can use any of these options i want to make it draggable draggable is a boolean that enables the marker draggable and it's compatible with both touch and mouse and we can also handle events, dragging event. I want this, drag end, when the user stop dragging. I add it here. All right. Set the position, latitude, and longitude, and make it draggable. And handle events on drag end
All right. And cancel like it. Here is the marker. And here is the data after dragging ends. Here is the position of the marker. In the documents, you can find everything you need to work with the map. And the link to the source code of this project is in the caption.